In today's video, we're gonna cover some new Blender add-ons that can improve your workflow. And we're gonna take a look at tools for applying decals, managing smoothing groups, creating stylized textures, and more. And each one of these add-ons offers practical features to help you streamline your projects. So without further ado, let's take a close at what these additions can offer inside Blender. We're gonna start with Stamp Master. A Blender add-on designed by CG Master, which is gonna be used for applying decals to your models. Once installed, you can use a simple hotkey to select an image and place it directly on any mesh. The decal auto-aligns to the surface and you can adjust its size, rotation, and transparency in one go. It's gonna be great for adding detail logos, graffiti, or weather textures. And you can layer multiple decals, blend them using a noise pattern, and even modify the shader nodes for advanced customization. For example, you can change colors, tweak the spread of the decal, or just how it interacts with the object's surface. And it works seamlessly in both EV and Cycles, so there is no need to switch between render engines. Next, we have a new add-on called Polygon Smoothing Groups, which aims at giving you control over smoothing groups, in addition to edge management. I have been personally using 3ds Max for many years, and I can tell you that this feature is a lifesaver, and the developer is bringing it over to Blender, which is great. So with this add-on, you can manually assign polygons to smoothing groups using numbered buttons, or select polygons by their assigned group. And for non-grouped polygons, there is an option to select them quickly or even clear all groups at once. The add-on also offers angle-based grouping, letting you set a specific angle threshold to automatically group polygons by the angle between their normals. And you can manage sharp edges with options to apply or remove them on selected or all edges, and even select all sharp edges in one click. For UV management, you can mark seams or remove them as needed. On top of that, you get smooth or flat shading operations and a neat feature to convert polygon selections into border edges. It's practically the same as the sharp edges. Hotkeys are available for fast access of those functions, which enhances your workflow and can make smoothing group management more efficient. While it's still in beta, the range of features looks promising, especially for game developers who need a lot of low-poly models. It's crazy to think about, but 2024 is almost over. But it is not too late to hit that goal, whether it is picking a new hobby or learning a new skill. Because Skillshare can help you achieve whatever you set your mind to with the largest online learning community with thousands of classes taught by industry experts from 3D art, illustration, 2D animation, motion graphics, and other stuff. People usually overestimate how much time you need to be efficient in a new skill. It is actually about 20 hours, give or take. So what are you waiting for? You can still achieve those goals of this year. For me, I want to end the year with some quality advanced motion graphics animations, so I am taking the advanced animation in Blender, which is a class taught by Derek Elliott. You can follow along or pick up a different class by following the link down in the description. And the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free subscription and pick up as many classes as you want. So what are you waiting for? Check it now and start learning today. Now moving to Stylized Master Tools, which is a Blender add-on that can help you simplify the creation of stylized textures and effects. Offering over 200 assets such as brush strokes, color tones, shadows, and a variety of customizable shaders. With adjustments available directly in the 3D viewport, you can refine objects in real time without switching between complex menus. The add-on includes layer stamping, allowing you to stack multiple textures on a model with ease. While features like auto parenting keep effects attached to objects as you work. Surface sticking, on the other hand, enables textures to snap smoothly to surfaces, minimizing the need for manual adjustment. And the stamp opacity slider allows precise control over transparency. In addition, organized node groups and automatic node linking can streamline the process of accessing and managing textures. 
while the option to create a maturable and import a group node makes setup faster. The next one is 2D to 3D logo, which is an add-on that converts your 2D logos to 3D with the possibility to customize materials and add some nice and amazing effects thanks to the Solvent module that makes it possible, let's say to, for example, reveal your logo in 3D. The add-on provides you with an efficient way to transform your 2D logos into 3D appearance without the challenges of traditional image tracing, which I think is great. So instead of aiming for perfect accuracy, it duplicates your logo multiple times to create depth. And you can customize various parameters, such as thickness and the number of layers, while noise settings add an interesting overflow effect. And the add-on features a dissolving module, allowing you to reveal your logo stylishly using a hundred included masks for animation. Next we have a new Blender add-on called Mesh Fix Wizard, which is designed obviously for mesh cleanup, offering three main tools, which are Remesh, Smart Fill, and Wrap. Remesh creates a uniform topology across your model while preserving key features, making it great for fixing up scanned or imported meshes. It basically ensures your model remains clean without losing crucial details, which I think is great. In addition, Smart Fill automatically fills holes or gaps in your mesh, blending your surfaces with the surrounding geometry. This saves time by avoiding manual patching and keeps your model looking consistent. Wrap is another quick solution for fixing difficult mesh problems like broken or overlapping geometry. So in a short time, it repairs these areas, making the process simple and efficient even for stubborn issues. And to make it more interesting, Mesh Fix Wizard also includes global and local fix options. So global fix, as you can imagine, repairs the entire mesh, offering both triangulated and quad mesh options, and handles noise, spikes, and intersecting faces. And local, on the other hand, provides tools for refining specific areas, unifying face normals, flipping, remeshing, smoothing, and reducing complexity where needed. Now, let's check 3DGS Render by Kiri Engine, which is a solid tool for turning simple point clouds into realistic and light reactive models. Once you import your apply files, the add-on allows for real-time camera updates, so the models automatically adjust your viewport and you can easily control which models to update, improving viewport performance when working with multiple objects. And for final renders, it creates an HQ splat, which enhances the model's detail while adhering to the original camera view. Another interesting and simple add-on from CG Matter is called Easy Pivot, which is a free add-on that simplifies adjusting pivot points, making it a handy tool for any 3D project. And to use it, enable the Developer Extras option in the interface settings. Without this, the add-on won't appear, unfortunately. Once you do that, you can easily set pivot points by clicking in your scene. And it works in object mode, allowing you to reposition pivot points quickly and efficiently. Just sketch your object, run the easy pivot operator, and choose your desired position. You can even adjust pivot points for multiple objects at once, which can be particularly useful for organizing complex scenes. For instance, you might find it helpful to set the pivot to bottom for an object, like the monkey mesh to align it with the ground. Next we have Particles Box, which is an add-on that provides an easy way to animate natural elements like fog, rain, snow, dust, and more. This tool can be perfect for adding subtle yet impactful effects which can enhance the overall atmosphere. It supports nine different particle types, including animated raindrops and swirling leaves, which gives you control over various atmospheric details. The procedural fog options is a nice addition, allowing you to customize density, color, and movement to achieve the desired ambience. And this level of fine tuning is especially useful when creating specific moods or settings. Setting up the particles box is actually straightforward. You simply apply the add-on to a cube and you can then select and animate different particle types. And you have control over scale, quality, speed, and randomization, making it easy to adapt the facts to your project when needed. And you can change and update your settings whenever you want. Talking about updates, we have an update of a popular add-on called Trace Genius with version 3.1.
This one brings some cool features to make tracing and editing way smoother. First up is the Auto Material Setup, which automatically unwraps your trace object and sets up the PBR material for you, saving you a bunch of time. Then there is the Retrace functionality, which lets you tweak your trace without starting from scratch, so you don't need hitting and do every time. The developers also added the Progress Indicator, so you can see exactly when tracing is happening and a save delete feature that cleans up everything linked to your traced object, keeping your scene neat, which I think is cool. Last but not least, we have the cinematic starter pack, which is gonna be really useful for filmmakers and 3D artists in general, because it offers several features to enhance your projects, including custom bokeh cameras, which lets you create background blur to add depth to your scene and the color grade presets allow for quick adjustments, helping you achieve a consistent and polished look. You can also find lens effects, which is also needed for realism. In the premium version, you can have access to volumetric fog and animated water effects, allowing you to choose between a flowing river or a still lake, depending on the mood that you want to convey. And this versatility, I think you gonna be find useful in different projects. The pack also comes with various camera presets and light settings that can streamline your workflow. And if you want more details, or if you want to check one of these add-ons, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.